All right. So, uh, very good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this wonderful guest session organized by Veda College. The session is called Character Design and Motion Graphics with Toon Boom. Toon Boom, as you know, is a Canadian company that specializes in animation production and storyboarding software. Their software is used in over 130 countries around the world, and they were also awarded the Prime Time Emmy Award in 2005 and 2012. Now, before we start this session, I would like to tell you that Veda College, Pune, is internationally acclaimed as one of the foremost multidisciplinary colleges for design, animation, VFX, game designing. The college is a part of one of Pune's oldest educational campuses. It's called Azam Campus. At Veda College, our students work closely with faculties to make good quality animation films. We also have a very good connection with artists and professionals from the industry who give their critical inputs in the filmmaking process. 2D animation, as we all know, is a major type of animation which is widely used for creating animated movies, cartoons, marketing videos, advertisements, corporate presentations, educational material, video games, films, and so on. Today, through this online session, we seek to deepen our knowledge of the 2D animation and some of the top-notch industry tools for character animation and motion graphics. Now, my experience as a TPO suggests, suggests that these are one of the most sought-after skills that companies are looking for in recent times, especially motion graphics. So, let us quickly start with today's session. I would like to uh, introduce you to Mr. Sushil Pawar and Mr. Harry from Toon Boom. Hi. Hello. Hi, Rishanji. Hello. Great. Hi, hi, everybody. Yeah. So, yeah, good to have you here. So, Mr. Sushil Thank is. Thank you. Nice to be here. Yeah. Mr. Sushil is from Pune. He is Toon Boom's sales manager for India. Mm -hmm. And we also have Mr. Harry from Toon Boom, who is joining us from South Africa. I would now like to invite Mr. Sushil to take it up from here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, thank you. Thanks a lot for that uh, wonderful introduction. Uh, I'm uh, really glad that Veda gave us this opportunity to host this particular event and to showcase what exactly Toon Boom is and how Toon Boom will be helpful or is helping studios around the world to get into 2D animation and get the best possible output in the world. I will showcase it to that, what exactly that means. Um, firstly, I really want to thank uh, Acharya sir for giving us this opportunity and all the students who are joining uh, right now who are live on YouTube, we are thankful that uh, you are a part of this wonderful session and I will make sure that you just get what exactly Toon Boom is and how it is beneficial for your future and also in terms of your career. Uh, without taking a lot of time, I just wanted to introduce you uh, to our sales director, Mr. Daniel. Uh, unfortunately, Daniel is in Montreal in Canada. He is handling Europe, Asia, Pacific, Canada, China, and so on countries, even Middle East. Uh, due to the time lag or the time difference we have, he was not able to join, but he has sent his regards to Acharya sir and also the students and faculty members of VEDA and have really thanks uh, the staff members for arranging this wonderful session. Without taking a lot of your time, just I will be sharing the details on what exactly Toon Boom is. Uh, after that, I will showcase it to you what exactly career or what growth path you people can see if you get associated with Toon Boom tools. And we have our colleague named Harry from South Africa. Uh, I'm really thankful that he was able to join it uh, in this particular session. He will be showcasing two very important tools of Toon Boom. One is known as Storyboard and one is known as Harmony. And he will be providing the live demo of all uh, of both of these tools and how different they are and why they are used by the uh, industry people. We, our tools are used by Amazon, it is used by Bento Box, it is used by Netflix, it is used by Disney. Wherever you see a studio, it is used and why it is used, Harry will be showcasing it to a beautiful demo. Without taking much of a time, I will just showcase you some about some things about Toonbo. I will just share yeah, my screen. Uh, Sushi? Yeah. Uh, just need to make a small announcement that <coughs> this program is being, this session is being watched live on YouTube. Oh, so if has any questions, you can just type it in the live chat over there and we would be happy to take that. Of, uh, and some of you have also joined us on our Zoom meeting. So if, even if you want to type your questions here, that's fine. But we'll have the session non-stop for the next 90 minutes. Right. 
so we have a non stop session for 90 minutes and after that we have a 30 minute session where our students can ask us various questions regarding our softwares regarding the careers regarding tool room everything so we have this particular session also for question and answers so we will be very happy to share our views on that great thank you so all the very best to you and your team sushil and let's have a Perfect. great Absolutely, absolutely. So I will just showcase the students and the faculty members of Veda what exactly Toonbo means. So I will just share my screen. Just let me know if you are able to see my screen, okay? Uh, guys, are you able yes, to see can. my screen? Yeah, we can see that. Great, great. Just a minute. You are able to see my screen or uh, presentation? Yes, your presentation is there. Perfect. So, right. Uh, let me welcome you to the world <coughs> world of Toon Boom. Uh, it is a very big organization. You must be only heard the name Toon Boom and what exactly and how we are spread across and what work we do. I will just showcase it to you in a small presentation like this. Let me start with Toon Boom and me myself of course so i am sushil i am the sales manager for india i am posted in pune in your city only you, i will share my email id so that if you have any questions after the sessions also you can just connect with me over mail uh, we as an organization we are associated with disney with amazon with nevlana with ubisoft toy animations spa studios zilam so we are spread across like anything in the whole world we are almost there in 130 plus countries where the studio uses us we are associated with almost 11000 plus studios and we have done some remarkable job in the 2d animation industry how and what we have done i will just showcase it to you uh, let me show you one small video wherein you will get a gist of exactly what toon go means So guys, this was a small video uh, wherein I was sharing the details about Toon Boom. Now let me showcase it to you what exactly work we have done. With a small show reel, please allow me to share that. So this is our small show reel. Show reel is the thing what we have done so far. Uh, it will showcase it to you what projects we have done and how beautiful they are. Just have a look at it.
guys i hope that you were able to like this particular video let me take you through some more details as you have seen in the video we have our headquarters in uh, canada montreal and we have a sales office in china and we have a sales office in japan so just to share a few timeline about tool room we were uh, we came into existence in 1994 in 1996 we were associated with disney in 2000 we were with simpsons in 2004 we launched a absolutely industry standard software which is known as harmony where we were associated with spongebob in 2005 we won an emmy award for our harmony in 2007 we launched storyboard pro uh, as a company we were bought, we were got associated with kuros group in 2012 which is a one of the top notch companies in canada which is based in ontario in 2017 we had an office in japan in 2019 which was our 25th anniversary we had an office in china and soon we will be having a beautiful office in india also which will be tool boom india our clients just to showcase it to you we are associated with studios also we are with freelance we are we are with freelancing artist we are also there with education uh as compared to the industry we are there with the top notch studios in the world with universal with fox spa bento box nbc nilvana everywhere whatever the studio you can see we are associated with them with with our softwares of course uh who who we are we are the company who always set a standard in terms of 2d animation we have a commitment towards the community and we are also associated with some various initiatives and we are main vision if i want to showcase it to you our main vision is to be in produce each and every frame whatever the, uh, is produced in 2d animation we want to be the part of it and to some extent we are how that is i will showcase it to you as now you must be knowing that we are in almost 135 plus countries we have our presence in montreal and in china and japan uh we have a promise which is made which we called as a brand promise and a messaging that whatever the artists whatever the animations or whatever the freelancers are there in 2d animation and storyboarding we are there with them and we always support them through various initiatives uh we have some products and we have some services products as you all know we have storyboard pro now harry will be showcasing this to you what exactly storyboard is uh we have harmony now uh, harmony is one of the most premium products available in 2d animation industry in the world and why it is so premium harry will be showcasing that to you in few minutes then as coming back to the service section we have our own learning portal i will share the details of learning portal where you can go and you can join for free and you can learn various details about 2d animation we have services for studios we have services for educational institutes also where we provide free of cost curriculum development we have our atc coe which is authorized training center and center of excellence Uh, we also provide some very professional services like rigging consulting career curriculum development and professional services we have a particular team which is dedicated for this uh, our process is very very simple we just uh, have that project we just uh, define what is the scope to be done uh, we take the approvals from the client as per the requirements we do the work and we deliver it at a quality uh as you all know the world is getting digitalized day by day we are there on and so are we so we are always available on twitter we are there on youtube we are there on linkedin we are there on facebook we have our co own community platform where uh, animation or the animators from around the world are join have joined them and you can ask them questions we have our own production details where you can see what exactly production takes place in the animation studio how it is and so on i will share all the links of these particular details uh, in the chat box now uh we will keep this particular question answer session uh after the hari uh, have finished the demo of harmony and storyboard pro so we will be able to showcase that we will be able to answer the details about tool boom now going to a very important section which is known as careers of after tool boom this is an important slide what i can say is for students especially who are looking for a career in 2d or even in 3d animation because our software is a mix of 2d and 3d we also have a 2 3d camera in our software so what benefits you students can get through tool room i will just showcase that to you along with a very important thing salary needs 
these are all the details which I already explained. So very important thing is uh, how the 2D animation or how the animation industry works. So there are broadcasters. Now these broadcasters always needs content. So for example, Netflix, Disney Plus, Hotstar is there in India, Amazon Prime is there, Apple TV is there, HBO is there. These are all broadcasters and they need content to be showcased on their particular broadcasting channel and OTT platform where they will be able to gain more and more subscribers. So always in the market, if you go, you will always see that these people like the broadcaster are always hungry for more and more content. The overall entertainment industry, if I want to showcase it to you, then it is almost of 2.250 billion dollars means it is almost 2,250 billion dollars the overall anime industry of entertainment which consists of gaming which consists of animation which consists of productions also and if i just get the details of animation industry and that also only of 2d animation then the overall an industry of 2d animation is almost 124 billion us dollars wherein 4000 studios always comes up and goes in a year and there is almost 1.5 lakh jobs which are created annually in this particular animation industry. So this industry is absolutely huge and there are a lot of opportunity for students like you. How that opportunity comes, then you can choose, you have two different paths if you choose to do. You can go into traditional industry, like you can go into television, you can go into flame of 2D, in even 3D, you can even go into gaming, AR, VR, which is one of the leading technologies right now. You can even go into stop motions or if you want to do anything into education or other than traditional industries, then you can even go for like medical animation, e-learning platform like Baiju's. We are associated with Baiju's by the way. You can even go into training, you can even go into architecture, you can even get associated with colleges like Veda after your career is over. How I will just showcase it to you. So what type of careers you can choose? If you go into a traditional industry, you can be an animation director, you can be a supervisor, you can be a cutout animation or paperless animator, character designer, location designer, motion graphic animator. So there are number of opportunities which you can get if you get associated with Toon Boom and the courses after that and you can check somewhere you can land up to in these particular positions. After that, even if you are not associated with you, if you do not want to get associated with those particular things, you can be a casting director, you can be a library manager, you can be a line producer, a production assistant, producer, storyboard revision, revision, design coordinator and so on. Even after that, if you don't see, if you want to be into a particular artistic skill and if you want to get developed yourself in a particular platform, you can even choose to become a color editor, a color stylist, a director, assistant director, even a story editor, art director and so on. A very important slide for Offlow, if you which will really make your blood boiling is what is a particular standard of salaries which people can get usually after going into 2D animation. Then if I want to showcase you, this is one of the results what we have is if you the animation salaries or 2D animation salaries in the US for an art director is almost 80,000 or 60,000 US dollars annually. If you choose to become an animation director right now only and if you land in getting animation director, you can earn up to 1 lakh dollars annually. This is the salary in US. The same salaries are not offered in India, but you can get associated through our tools in studios around the globe because we are associated with almost 11,000 studios and 130 plus countries. So people know us very well. And if you get our tools, if you get to know our tools, you can land anywhere in the world with these studios with, with these different types of opportunities like a layout artist, a cleanup artist, scanner operator and so on, even a compositor, rigger. If you don't want to go outside India and if you want to stay focused in our own country, our own country also has a big, big opportunities. So just to showcase a small thing with you, we are associated with, these are some studios where we are associated. We are associated with Toons Animation, Big Animation, which is in Pune. We are with Green Gold, Digitoons, Reg Animation, Deluxe, Chuchu TV, Cosmos Maya, Frame Toons. Technicolor, paperboard animation in Mumbai and not only in particular cities, but we are there in Pune, in Mumbai, in Bangalore, in Hyderabad, even we are in there in Trivandrum, Chennai. So we are spread across India also and these are the studios which use our softwares and the content is produced on our softwares in these studios. 
if you want to choose some different path and if you want to get associated with only education institutes we are there with arena mac wisling woods in mumbai nid which is national institute of design in bhopal we are there with byju's in hyderabad we are with presidency university in bangalore we are with mit in pune we are with iit mumbai we are with school of animation in delhi so there are n number of opportunities if you want to have an education as your career in 2d animation you can choose from toonbo mitsal if that is also not very good for you i will tell you there are countries which you must have not heard of the name also and we are in that particular countries we are there in asia we are there in europe we have there in americas we are there in africa and middle east even we are there in small small islands also if you see the name canary island it is a small island and we are our studio is associated with toonbom in canary island also there are n number of countries which are there with us uh what exactly toonbom does is they teach students or they teach the faculty members the most four c the critical c what we see is critical thinking communication collaboration and creativity and these four c can help you to gain the maximum knowledge and can make you an industry standard in 2d animation which will make your resume which will make you stand apart from the crowd and you can get associated with the top notch studios in the world <coughs> how these particular uh, uh, studios are associated with us is through two very beautiful software which is known as harmony 20 and storyboard now what exactly is harmony 20 here is a small video but we are going to give a live demo of it so just to showcase it in few seconds just have a look at this particular video this is for harmony <laughs> In our world, everything is possible. You can be who you are. You can show your true you. You can sing. You can dance. You can achieve. Yeah! Acceptance is everywhere. Possibilities are endless. And every creative dream, every style Everyone can simply express their deepest dreams, their truest stories. A creative world in harmony. Harmony 20. Dare to be you. Dare to create. So as this was all about Harmony 20. <clears throat> Now I will showcase it to you about storyboard. Now what exactly is storyboard is you can board any story whatever there is in your mind if you think that this should be the story this should be an Indian mythics or this should be a story which i should present it to the college present it to the world you can do it on storyboard how this is a story just look at this video so that it will it is self explanatory space cadet log entry 20 while tuning up my spacecraft for another most dangerous ever assignment i received a call from taskmaster m my mission to save the galaxy from my arch rival the nemesis I had my sights set on success until I was in the sights of her heat ray. Correct. Where'd that space cadet go? What the? Oh shoot! Now get out of my space. Really? Why should I listen to you? I may have burned it a little. Uh, what happened here? So guys, this was a, a small video of storyboard. It means this was a story of a brother and his big sister, a family, and this is how it was presented through our software. Now, going to the main section is 
everything is good about Tolmo, but where are we and what have we done so far? If I just want to showcase it in a small, small things, then uh, we were with solar opposites. We were with the rise of the TMNT. We were with Claus. Claus is one of the highest uh, animation movie, 2D animated movie, which was having the highest budget in the world so far, and that was made on Toon Boom tools. We were there with Hilda. Hilda is also there on Netflix India. You can just check the quality of it. We were there with Tangled. Tangled was made on our tools. We were there with Final Space, Speed Brawl, Battle Bond, Moana. Moana is one of the top grossing movies in India for 2D animation. Uh, and it was made through our tools. We were there with Mickey Mouse Shorts. You can check on YouTube about this. So overall, just to share this with you, how it Boom Boom will help you, it's just that content is the king. Everyone is hungry for content these days. And because of this particular lockdown, everything has come to the OTT platform and OTT platform needs content. If you go and see, there are plenty of animation content on these OTT platforms like Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, Hotstar and so on. And we know that. And the animation is something which is irrelevant of the lockdown or even if the country is in normal condition animation can be done anywhere only you want to have an internet connection and tool boom tools like storyboard and harmony and we know that and that is where we stand up above the market and we provide content the, to these particular people through studios and studios use it just like green gold has done with chota bheem that is also through Toon Boom itself and we are associated with them and they have made it live on 190 plus countries through Netflix and just due to share this with you. Uh, other than that, we also have many initiatives as we are the international organization, we always deal into initiatives. We have our own blogs. We have animation from every angle, which you can go and see. I will share these links uh, in the chat descriptions. We have our own success stories. You can just go and read this success story from studios, from freelancers. We have customer productions where you can see what exactly customer is getting produced and how it is produced. We have our own channel like YouTube, which is called as Twitch, where you can see animation related videos. Uh, we have our own community. Community is somewhere, something where all the people from the globe, animation people, animation faculty members also are a part of it. It is just like a Facebook, but only for Toon Boom and 2D animation industry. And you can ask questions and you can get the details and you can also check what exactly the salaries are, what exactly the career is after India and in the market internationally. We have our MVP and ambassador program where we always uh, invite ambassador from 50 plus countries every year and we take the, the details and make them live for students like you or people in the animation industry. We have a beautiful, beautiful initiative which is called as Toon Boom Learn. I request you to go and check it. Here you can learn about 2D animation, not only about our tools, but also about 2D animation and it's free. Some things are paid, but you can just go and check it. Whatever you can learn from this, it will be beneficial for your futures. You can learn about animation, cutout, design, expo, 2D, layout, traditional, color, animatic, gaming, and so on. And you can even learn about our tools like Harmony, Essentials, Advanced Premium, and Storyboard. As uh, you must be already knowing, we are live on this. We are there digitally. We have our digital presence everywhere, whatever is available. You can just go and check them and you can join us so that you can get the updates from us and you will be also able to see what exactly Toon Boom is doing for the animation people or animation industry around the globe. So this was me. I will just stop sharing the screen because the question answer session will be after Harry. So I hope you guys uh, must have liked the videos or even the presentations or the details what we have shared it with you. I am completely aware that you must be having a lot of questions at least related to your careers. So just keep it them with you. Just write it down or share it on the chat box. I will try to give, give the details to them. Or once Harry is done, after the demo, we have a question answer sessions and we will showcase it to you what you can do with Toon Boom in India and not only in India, but around the globe also. So that was me and over to you, Harry. Great stuff. Thank you very much, uh, Sushil. Thank you everyone for being here. Thank you um, for the organizers to put this together and allow us uh, the platform to, to show you, to showcase uh, Toon Boom, some of the Toon Boom softwares today. Um, without further ado, I'm going to uh, share my screen.
Um, just a quick presentation, uh, introduction. My name is Harry. I am the technical software sales specialist for Toonboom. I'm based in South Africa, Cape Town. Um, and I have been uh, working in this industry for over uh, 20 years now and uh, been at Toonboom for uh, more than 10 years. Um, so um, I will be showcasing Toonboom Storyboard Pro as well as Toonboom Harmon. Okay. Uh, this is, this will be a high level presentation. So there will be, um, there will be not that many details on specific topics or specific sections. Um, these softwares are very comprehensive. There's a lot that they can do. Doesn't mean that they are difficult to learn or difficult to use. It just means that there's a lot. Um, that they that they can provide you and provide um, studios uh, as well as uh, students and faculties around the world uh, as Sushil has demonstrated. Okay, so let me first share my screen and I'm also going to hide my um, I'm going to also hide my uh, camera while I'm doing this. So I'm just sure that music and computer side did I just make sure that I can also share the music so when you share your screen you just have to check the share computer sound button it comes at the share top. sound there we go that's the one I wanted to do perfect thank you great okay so I'm going to share my screen and hide my video so that you uh, you don't need to see my face Okay, guys, uh, can you see my screen? Yes, yes, we can. Yeah, yes, great yes, stuff. Thank you very much. Okay, so again, welcome to this presentation of uh, of uh, Toonboom software. Let's start with Storyboard Pro. Now, Storyboard Pro is a pre-production software. It is the standard around the world. Uh, um, to be uh, to create uh, storyboards, it is um, the standard in in uh, all, uh, if not most, of the uh, animation studios around the world. Some animation studios, like Fox, for example, even have hundreds of licenses within within one studio. Storyboarding is not specifically for animation only. Storyboarding, as you may know is used by a variety of different uh, different platforms, such as uh, live action films, like Bollywood films, for example, um, gaming, uh, advertising, shorts, and things like that. So everything that has a story may need to, uh, may need to create a storyboard. Essentially, a storyboard is a visual representation of of a script, okay, of a story, all right? So, so essentially, before you start anything, um, you should or you could um, start with a script. So, it's natural that within Storyboard Pro, if you look at um, the panels here, we've got a whole bunch of panels which you can uh, turn on and off and you can customize your entire environment. Um, as as best as you as you want to, or however you want to, uh, you can move around certain things so that you can make more space for yourself. And we also have some workspaces at the top here, which will help you focus on the things that you need to do. The first one I've used is called the drawing workspace. Okay, so I'm here. So back to the scripting. Um, it, it's natural to have then within Storyboard Pro a scripting <laughs> space where. Where you could um, create your script directly from here. So you could type your script immediately from here. Um, or you could also import an existing script, which you have maybe created in, into another software, such as Word, for example, or Google, uh, Google Docs. Um, and you can import it in here as a TXT file, for example. Okay, so I'm choosing a TXT file, and here it is. Here's the script. Uh, that I have here. 
again, like I said, it doesn't have to be an animation script. It can be, it can be a short film for, for, for students. It can be, it can be anything else uh, like that. Okay. So, um, let me just make sure I hide that. Okay. So once you've got your script inside, you can, again, you can modify it if you want to. Um, and then you can start creating the backbone, the structure of your, of your story. And that is by creating different panels, right? Um, for example, um, the first one says the racers are racing um, in a, you know, in a, in a desert, um, uh, you know, where, where does it say? A wide flat desert into a green forested area. So you could start drawing that that thing that you, you see in the script that is said on the script. That's why it's a visual representation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring elements from what we call the library. Now, the library is uh, one of the most powerful things about the software, um, is that everything that you create inside of Storyboard Pro or that you bring inside of Storyboard Pro can be saved into a library so that you can reuse it later. Okay, so for example, here I've created previously uh, to make this presentation a lot smoother, I've created an environment which I can just bring in and drag and drop into my scene. And so now I have in this panel, the scene of the flat desert, uh, wide flat desert where, uh, you know, my story is going to start. And then I can start creating more stuff on top of that. For example, I could bring in a rough drawing of a rock like this. And now I've got another layer in this particular panel. As you can see, there are several layers there. I've got another layer that I can use um, on top of it. So I can have as many layers as I want to into one panel, for example, to create, to create my art, okay? And then I can use a variety of tools. So for example, let me create uh, another layer on top here. And um, I can use the, the light table to, to make it a bit darker. Um, and I can start drawing on top to maybe um, clean this up a little bit. So you could see, for example, there that I have some texture to some of my, uh, some of my brushes. That's because in the vector brush that we've got, we've got the ability to use either solid vector, um, which looks like this. I'm sure you guys have all seen this type of vector like that, okay? Uh, which works with pressure sensitivity on my tablet, for example. So the harder I press, the thicker it gets. This is a, 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 a typical a brush, a vector brush. But you can also use what we call a texture vector. And that's really great because you can actually bring in um, textures inside of your vector line. So for example, if I draw the continuation here, you can see it's really, really nice texture that I can use. And even though it's got texture, and I can change some of the settings here, even though it's got texture, I can still change the contour of these lines because it remains a vector line. So, and that is the same thing, whether we use the brush or the pencil. We also have a pencil line, okay? And the pencil line looks something like this, all right, for example. And that is also a line that I can obviously modify because it's vector. So I can change the direction of the line, for example. I can add Bezier things like this, but I can also add a texture to this line. I can select the line itself and I can go and change it to a different texture. I can make it chalk, I can make it dots, I can make it dashes. There's a whole bunch of things that I can use. You are not limited to the textures that you have by default in here. You can also create textures and share them amongst your team members. You can create a texture, for example, in another software and bring it in here as a brush uh, or as a pencil, and you can apply it to your lines. Okay, so there's the really uh, an infinite amount of flexibility that you can use to create your story from scratch. All right, so let's move on to 
um, more of the story. So if I go back into the script, I can see that they're going into a, they're plunging into a green forested area. Okay. So I can create, I need to create more panels, uh, maybe even create a new scene. How to do that? It's very easy. I just add a new scene by pressing this button. And as you can see, it's adding more thumbnails at the bottom. If I want to add, add more panels to the scene, I just tap the add panel button and it creates more panels for my scene as well. So it's that easy for us to, 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 you know, start creating the structure of our storyboard. Now, I told you that you can create everything from scratch within Storyboard Pro. Uh, that's very true. Um, and But you can also import uh, things, images, videos, sounds uh, into Storyboard Pro itself. Uh, and that you can do via the import over here, import images. And you can even import images with layers, you know, such as uh, PSD files, which as you all know, are uh, Adobe Photoshop files, okay? So for example here, this is what I, I did with one of these, um, which I can bring also from the library or I can go into import layers, images as layers. I can go back out here and say, there's a PSD file and I can bring it in and it's gonna say it's got multiple layers. You want me to uh, import them separately? I say yes, and you'll see now directly in here, I'll see all the layers uh, available to, to me from the Photoshop file. So it's that easy for me to import inside of Storyboard Pro. So if you want to use, I mean, all of these are black and white, but we obviously we have color, okay? We have a whole bunch of colors. You, you could see just now um, the colors over here. You can see the color swatches that you can open and choose any one of these. You can use gradients. You can even go to multiple wheel mode. Um, so you can create yourself quite uh, complex colors as well and, and color swatches. Um, once you've done all of this, uh, what happens actually from this perspective is that Storyboard Pro actually puts all of these panels on a timeline. Okay, so let me bring even more to this um, storyboard here. I'm going to bring a whole bunch of different panels uh, from the library, which, which I've prepared for this presentation. And I'm just going to drag and drop it directly here in the thumbnail view. Okay, I'm going to drop it in there. And you'll see that it's asking me to rename the scenes because they're named differently. So this is, I'm going to want this to be called scene three. Um, and then I'm going to ask it to rename everything subsequently after that. So I don't need to, to worry about the naming, okay? So I say, okay, and that's it. And now if I scroll down like this, I can see that I've got a whole bunch of different uh, panels here, which represent uh, the different uh, movements of my storyboard, okay? So while I can see it like this, which is like the typical storyboarding uh, style, I can also see it in horizontal or vertical uh, views. Like for example, I can see it in this vertical view where I see the panel itself. Let's go to one of these. I can see the panel itself and I can see the captions at the bottom, okay? And these captions, you can fill them in with the script. So for example, if you know that there's a dialogue here for this particular image, then you can just drag and drop. Let's say it's this one, just drag and drop the dialogue directly inside of that caption. Or if there's a note that you want to leave for somebody, uh, like for a student or for a team member, you can just go and type the notes directly into there, for example. Okay, so, you know, even though it can do a lot, don't forget that it is a storyboarding software and you can actually really use it as a proper storyboarding, um, storyboarding uh, platform, okay? But while it's doing all of this, it is actually putting all of these panels on a timeline. So if I go to the timeline view now, you can see that um, all of these panels that I've added are now laid down on the timeline automatically. 
And this is where I will be able to change the timing of each one of these. So for example, here you can see that um, this one is uh, of a certain length, and then the others are much faster because they're showing movement for this particular vehicle. So as you can see, we now already have like a video representation of our storyboard. If you want to make one of the panels longer, you can just, you know, drag it longer like this and it will make it, it will push everything else. If you want to make a gap here in between and add another uh, panel in between the two, I can just turn on the animatic mode and I've got now a gap there if I want to put anything uh, right there. So it's now is, it is now looking and acting more like a, an editing software, um, which will allow you to create what we call an animatic. An animatic is an animated or video version of your storyboard. And when I say, uh, excuse me, when I say animated, it means that you can also animate certain layers within your storyboard. So as you can see there, we have vehicles that are uh, driving towards the cliff over there. Okay, let's let's actually make this a bit uh, smaller so we can see a bit more and this a bit bigger like that. So now you can see that the vehicles are uh, driving towards the cliff there like that. Now, how do we animate that? It's very easy. As long as they are on separate layers, we can animate them separately. So we're going to animate layer C here, which is this guy. All right, so we're going to be we're going to go at the beginning of our panel and we're just going to select the uh, transform tool and that's it. And we're going to put it over here and that's created. Um, we can create a keyframe from there like that. And then we're going to go at the end of our uh, panel and we're going to move it to here. And we're going to do that. And even though they intertwine like that, uh, and we've got the movement here, we don't want them to crash, right? So we're just going to add another keyframe right there. And we are going to simply curve it like that. You see, so now it's pretty cool. It's going like this. So now this guy's like overtaken him or something. You see, so it's that easy, guys, to, to make a, uh, a movement with, with the layers. But you can also make a movement with the camera. And this is where I'm going to go to another section. I'm going to go to, to one of the storyboards that was already made for this presentation. And you'll see how complex and how powerful you can make your animatic or your storyboard. This particular one has got a whole bunch of different things which we will go through uh, just now. Um, starting with this first uh, panel, which you've seen, uh, which we, we, we looked at just now, but this time you can, you'll see that it's got a camera move attached to it, right? So I'm going to hide everything around that camera so you can see it properly. And I'm going to play it for you. And you can see... It's leg two of the race as the racers head from the canyons into them. Okay, so not only can you hear the sound, let's actually take the sound away so that it doesn't distract us for a second. Um, but it's got, you know, the video, the camera is actually uh, you know, moving from the uh, left to the right. It's panning from the left to the right. But it's doing that in a very realistic manner. In other words, these objects look like they are closer and they look like they're moving faster than the objects at the back. That's called parallax. And that's possible because in Storyboard Pro, you actually have a real 3D environment. You can actually uh, move all the different layers back in, onto the Z axis and make sure that uh, you can create a real parallax. And then you have the camera, which you can obviously animate you're not animating the objects closer or sideways, you're animating the camera if you want to do that. And so you are able to put keyframes on the camera and create a path for that camera. I'm going to demonstrate that with another scene, which is this time a fully 
3D scene, all right? So let's have a look at the camera view here, and I'm going to go to this one. And you can see this one is completely 3D. Because in Storyboard Pro, you can import 3D objects. You can import FBX, OBJ, or, or different types of other formats. And you can actually animate an object directly inside of Storyboard Pro in full 3D on all three axes at the same time. So for example, here, you know, this object is 3D. I can move it in this direction. I can move it in this direction. I can move it in this direction as well in full 3D, okay? And so I can create, if I want to, I can create a path for this guy on that vine, for example, and I can animate the camera as well as the objects, as long as they are on separate layers like this. You know, so um, even the environment, the stage itself is, you know, it's fully 3D, as you can see again, you know, and the camera is animated. You can see the camera there. And if I select it, um, you'll see there's the path, there's the camera path animated like that. And if I select the object, you can see that it's got a path as well. So you can go uh, fully 3D if you want to, or you can mix 2D and 3D together. You can see that this one has got some 2D backgrounds there at the back. It's a flat 2D background. And when you look at the camera view, it looks like it's just got that type of background there. Don't forget that you are creating a storyboard. This is not the final animation, okay? This is just to quickly convey the story and the message. It's not uh, going to be the final, final story or the final product. Okay, so um, so even if some elements are rough, you know, we don't actually need to see the forest there. We just need to represent what the forest looks like. Um, but because you've maybe you've already created some 3D elements, you want to bring them in here and you want to animate them instead of drawing uh, you know, in, instead of doing this, for example, which which represents like a vehicle uh, driving on on vines like that as a two D format, you could, if you already have your vehicle, bring it in and animate it like this, so you can represent the timing and the camera, the camera position, the framing, as well as uh, the animation of that particular object. Okay. So what else can you bring in here? Um, Storyboard Pro will allow you to also bring in uh, videos, okay? And that's very, very easy. Um, all you need to do is create a video track. So if I bring, uh, let me just bring this down a little bit like this, right? So I've got a video track at the top here. All I need to do is go into my computer like that and um, go, let me go to Storyboard Pro. Uh, there, I can go assets and libraries. So I can look at some videos, for example, references. Um, there's a reference of a, a sky, for example, and I wanted to put that on top there so that I can draw over it or something. I can just drag and drop a video directly onto my timeline, and there's my timeline for me. I mean, there's my video there. I can make it shorter, I can cut it, there you go. Um, I can play it. I can even um, right click on it and make it more uh, transparent, for example, uh, change the opacity, maybe make it 30% uh, transparent so I can see what's underneath. And I can use that as a reference or as an actual video. You know, if you guys have already shot something and you want to put that into your storyboard or your animatic, you can do that directly as well. Okay. So videos, so 3D, videos, layered images, obviously flat images. Uh, you can also bring sound, okay? So as you can see down here, we've got a whole bunch of different soundtracks, okay? And I can play you something. Let me play you from here so that you can hear what it sounds like. Um, Seems to be losing crucial ground to his competitors. Minky and Slow Water emerge from the jungle and approach the hydrodynamic portion of the race. What's this? No Nash Calloway? Ah! Oh, looks like they've awakened a Daxamore. Okay, so 
you can hear there's a whole bunch of different sounds uh, available here. You can see you have as many tracks as you want to. You can bring these in a waveform or MP3 form. Um, and then you can break them into pieces. You can edit them together so that you, you create, let's say, a, a dialogue uh, a clip here, a dialogue track, a, uh, a, um, a, an effects track, a uh, background music track, whichever you, you want. If you want to, you can even record your own voices directly from here. You can go into import, record sound. And that can help you, for example, determine the timing of a certain frame. So, you know, let's say, for example, you animating or you would like to represent a dialogue between two characters and you don't know how long that scene must be. You can actually record it yourself before uh, the voice artist's uh, recording so that at least you get the timing right. And then you time it into the timeline over here. You make it as long as your your voice or something, and at least you have an idea. And then either you use that because you know you don't have a voice artist, or then you you record your voice artist separately in a, in a professional recording studio, for example. And then you bring that sound in here by dragging and dropping it and cutting it uh, a little bit, and fading, fade out all sorts of things that you can do. In terms of sound, you can also do some effects. Okay, so let me show you one effect here, which is very, uh, very easy to add. And we've got um, into the effect stack window, we've got a whole bunch of effects that we can use. Okay, so I'm going to select one of the tracks. And here you can see there's a whole bunch of things. There's balance, delay, high, high pitch, low pitch, reverb, we're going to put a reverb here because let's have a look at the scene. Uh, you can see this guy is going to come out of a cave. Okay, so let's see that. No, Nash Calloway? Ah! You see, he's coming out of a cave there. And because he's coming out of a cave, I would like him to sound a little bit more like a reverb. It's going to re echo a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to select the sound, the, that scream that goes like this. Ah! And I would like that to add reverb. So I can add the reverb over here. It's already there. And I can change the settings. And when I add it, this is what it sounds like. Ah! So you heard that. Um, it, it's got that echo to it, right? So now if I play it with the visuals. Oh, Nash Calloway? Ah! Uh, oh, looks like they have a all right. So again, there's a whole bunch of things. You can play with stereo uh, left and right. You can play with um, high pitch, low pitch. You can accelerate the voices. There's a lot, uh, a lot of options there. And then you've got your animatic and you've created your storyboard. So what do you do from here with your storyboard? Okay. What you can do from here is export it in a number of ways. First of all, one of the most traditional things that you can export a uh, storyboard is a PDF, or at least a paper version of a storyboard, right? Every, everybody has probably seen one of those. Um, because you've already created all of this and, and framing and all of that, it's very easy for you to go and uh, uh, choose how you would like to print it out or how you would like to share it in a PDF format by adding, you know, making sure that each scene can start on a new page or show a different panel and two panels per page or uh, however, however you want to set it up. And then you can save this and then you can, every time you export your storyboard, it will look the way you want it. So let me show you what it can, what a, an export could look like. Okay. So this is the PDF version of this particular um, this particular uh, story. And you can see there that the scene, uh, scene one, you can see the duration, you can see the, the captions here, the announcer saying what he needs to say. You can even see that there is a camera move here. See that? So it starts over there and it ends over here. So it, it goes this way. And that tells people that, okay, there's, there's going to be a camera move there. 
Uh, you can see the 3D itself uh, because you've added that as well. Um, and even if you've added uh, effects, because you can add some effects like blurs and motion blurs and things like that. Here, for example, you can see that uh, there's an effect, a blur effect uh, there, and you can see that even in the PDF version. And all of this is done, it's just done automatically when you export. You don't need to, to draw this or, or make the box over here and add the thing by hand and copy paste. You don't need to do any of that. You've already created your storyboard and now you just export it as a PDF format. Okay. So that's one of the biggest uses of, of the export. The other big one, of course, because you've made a video with uh, transitions, with videos, with 3D, with timing, with voice, with music, you can export that as a movie. And there are many options again. Um, you can even burn in the time code to see the time code. You can even put in the captions. If there are, you know, dialogues and, and, and people talking, you can also show the, the captions if you've put the scripts in the, in the caption uh, in things that I've showed you earlier. You can see that like a sub subtitle, for example, uh, on your store, on your animatic. Um, and then there are a number of other ways that you can export and use Storyboard Pro, including also saving it to Harmony. And this is where I'm going to use this as a segue to go to, to go to Harmony, because directly from Storyboard Pro, it's in here that you are going to subdivise your work for your animation or for even if it's not animation, remember, it's not just for animation. Storyboarding is not just for animation. But in the case you're working in animation, um, you're going to want to subdivise your work. Even if you work for, if you're creating a whole episode or a whole movie, you're not going to create the whole thing in one block. You're going to break it down into sequences and then into scenes or into episodes and then into scenes, right? So you do that in the storyboarding process or in the script, but you can do that in the storyboarding process. And if you do that in the storyboarding process, you can actually export to Harmony directly from here. And that means that it's going to create a Harmony scene with the animate and an animatic already in there. It's going to also add all the sounds if you want to. Um, it, it's going to also add the camera moves if you've made a camera move, um, and so on and so forth. And that will accelerate your productivity a lot because now the animators can start working on their new scenes with the storyboard already in there uh, as a reference for them. Okay. Um, so that is Storyboard Pro in a nutshell. Uh, if you guys hear a noise in the background for me, I apologize. It's the rain. Uh, <laughs> it's very uh, loud rain at the moment. Yeah, so that's I'm fine. Sorry. That's totally fine, Eddie. I'm sorry about that. Um, there's nothing much I can do <laughs> about the rain. Um, okay, so that was the presentation about Storyboard Pro. I'm sure you guys have questions, so if you want to leave the questions for the end, um, I will, will, we will go to the Q&A se um, uh, session afterwards, okay? So let me go on and talk to you now about Tumbum Harmony. Sure, this rain is very loud. Okay, it's shutting down now a bit. Right, so let's talk about Harmony. Tunboom Harmony is the standard, the industry standard for animation in 2D, 2.5D, and the integration of 2D and 3D in the same software. Uh, Harmony is used, as uh, Mr. Sushil showed you at the beginning, is used around the world. It's used by the biggest productions on the planet. It's used by the biggest studios on the planet. Um, and for a very good reason, or for multiple uh, very good reasons. 
Um, it is able to do everything from the design of your characters or your environment or your backgrounds all the way to the compositing of your scene. Compositing means where you add effects, where you play with the colors and, and make sure the color corrections is, is correct. Um, and it can even bring in 3D objects inside of Harmony so that you can animate the 2D and the 3D together. Okay? So let me show you uh, some of the aspects of it. I'm not going to spend too much time on the drawing tools because they are more or less the same, uh, more powerful, but they are more or less the same as what you saw in Storyboard Pro. Okay? So I'm going to go directly into the story itself. Um, normally, you would start with an animatic, because if you start with a blank slate, which you can, it might be a little bit more difficult. But if you have a reference already, it will be easier for you to start working. And this is where it comes with from Storyboard Pro, where you can bring in a scene that already has the animatic embedded. In my case, I'm just going to bring one from the library once again. And now you can see that it's got the uh, little otter here. Uh, let's see the little animation quickly. The otter is moving and playing around with the shell. Okay, so that's what that's my uh, little animation. That's my reference that was created in Storyboard Pro. And it's telling me that uh, what the otter is doing with the little shell. So the next thing I would need to do is to um, create the, the background. Create the background, I can create it from scratch. Um, or again, I can bring a background from uh, an outside software, like Photoshop, for example. So again, I can go into, into here, I can go import images, and I can go and choose a PSD file, which is an Adobe Photoshop file, and I can create uh, the, the, you know, the single layers or the layers separate. And I can either keep it as a bitmap or I can vectorize it if I want to as well. And it will keep all the blending modes and the transparency and all that that you've created inside of uh, Photoshop, for example. I'm going to bring one that I've prepared already from the library. It's exactly the same, but it's got a little bit more um, that I can show you. So right now, let me just hide the animatic. Right now, you can see it looks great. It's exactly what it looks like in Photoshop. Um, and you can see the different layers are separated like that. I can move the different uh, things here uh, for me to use. Okay, So all of that is separated, and it looks flat. However, I've already prepared this, and if I go into the perspective view, once again, you can see that we have a full 3D environment inside of Harmony as well. And this environment, I can move objects away from the camera once again. Let's have a look at the camera here. We've got a camera right there, okay? And the camera is actually moving away or zooming in or zooming out away from the objects there, okay? And that, in the, if I look at the camera view, it will allow me to work with the parallax. It's working really well to show me the parallax. Even if I exaggerate the movement a little bit, I go in like that, you can see it's working really well. Uh, these objects are moving much faster because they're closer and the objects in the background don't move so fast. And that's, uh, that's really, really useful to do it like this. You don't have to trick the viewer. You don't have to move the objects. You move the camera. And you animate the camera. But then you also have to place the objects at different uh, depth in the scene. Okay? So that is, uh, that is the multiplane uh, capabilities inside of, uh, inside of Harmony. Now we're ready, we've got the background, we're going to be doing some animation. So in terms of animation, we've got multiple styles of animation. I'm just going to hide this for a second. Um, I'm sure you guys are very familiar with um, traditional animation. 
And traditional animation or frame by frame animation, uh, are, you know, works in creating obviously drawings uh, and one after the other to represent a movement. Okay, so now I can have I can see my little otter moving like this and playing around with the shell like it, it showed us in the animatic. Uh, but these were drawn frame by frame to show us the animation. Now you can do this inside of Harmony directly. You can use the timeline. You can show the thumbnails inside uh, inside the timeline. Uh, that's actually the, let me just show you the art of that one. You can see the thumbnails directly from here. You can make a drawing, uh, you know, longer, for example, if you want to pause uh, at the bottom there, you can extend this a little bit longer. So it goes like this, it pauses a bit, pause, and then it moves. Can you see that? That was, that was actually quite nice. So it plays, it plays, it plays, it plays, pause, boom, and then it jumps up like that. Um, that's just because I've exposed the drawing a little bit longer, okay? That's the basis around traditional animation. You can do that from the timeline, you can move them around, um, you can even do it from the, um, the X sheet, which is the exposure sheet. The exposure sheet is something that was used in traditional animation back in the day. And so it's still here and you can still use it. If you guys don't know what it is and you haven't been taught this, that's fine. You can do it in the timeline. But if you have been taught or if you are aware of this and you like to work in the, in the X sheet, it's also here. And, and you can do a lot of things inside the X sheet itself. When you're working when you're creating your animation, um, you're going to be, for example, adding a new drawing in between, uh, uh, you know, in between these two drawings, for example. Um, and you can just, you know, select over here, add a new empty drawing. And now you can turn on what we call the onion skin that will allow you to show the previous drawings and the next drawings so that you can now flip between the two and you can look at what your animation looks like. Of course, this is not new for um, animation softwares, but here we've also got what we call the advanced onion skin, where you can add, you can see multiple drawings if you want to. You can change the transparency of the onion skin if it's too much. Um, you can see specific drawings, uh, you know, and there's a lot of different tools that will allow you to work with traditional animation. So, what else can we do here? One of the things that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to now paint these uh, the, the, this animation. Okay, so I'm going to select um, one of these, and I'm going to go and paint my otter. Now, when I paint my otter, I'm gonna I've got several layers that I can use. By the way, I can use I can have a line layer on which I would create the outlines and I can use the color layer on which I'm going to add the colors. We separate the two because it, it, it will be very useful for you to have control over either just the lines or just the color, for example. Okay. And then I've got a whole bunch of color tools here, paint, paint unpainted, repaint, unpaint, uh, inking, or um, stroke if you want to draw this invisible line for the uh, for the color. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can use here. I'm going to go to paint unpainted. It's my, it's my favorite tool. And then I'm going to look into the colors. Now in the colors, it's very important to, to create palettes uh, for every object that you've got. So the otter has got its own palette. Let's say the background, it's got its own palette. The uh, uh, and then and and whatever else you've got in the scene should have its own palette, okay? And then in the palette, you have a, a different, uh, you have all, a whole bunch of different uh, colors. So I'm I'm going to choose the um, the auto fill, and I'm going to start painting inside that area. All I need to do is tap, and if I know what the colors are, 
it's quite quick for me to start drawing inside my thing. If I don't know, because I'm not the one who's created this otter, I can also use what we call a, the model, the model view, uh, which is this one. And maybe I can paint the first frame and then create a model, or I can just bring a model from the library or someone has sent me a model. So now I've got the model and I just need to pick the color that I want to, to paint. And, you know, it can go a lot faster for me to paint like that. So I go here, as you can see, I just drag like that, uh, the nose, you can see, you'll see how quick it is for me to, oops, that's not the right one. Uh, uh, that's the right color like that. I can zoom in a bit. I can zoom in here as well and do that. Um, the teeth like this quickly and the black on there like that. That's it. As you can see, it was very quick for me to paint my one drawing. Problem is, we've got several drawings, right? So what can we do? Are we going to paint every one of these? Well, you don't have to, thankfully. You can actually put on the onion skin. And let's see a bit more than that. We're going to see more here. We're going to see more there. And I'm going to actually use a tool called um, Apply to All Drawings. And then I'm going to paint on multiple frames at the same time. So I'm going to choose the color that I want to use. I've got my tool, my Paint Unpainted. I'm going to put Apply to All Drawings. And then I'm just going to draw a line where I know my drawings are going to be in the future and in the past, like that. And I release and watch what happens. It's actually painted that area on all the, the frames before and after. Sometimes it's messed it up a bit, but that's easy to fix. You know, it's very easy. I can just say repaint and just repaint where, oh, sorry, that's paint and paint, uh, apply to all frames, I don't want that. That's it, repaint that, repaint this one, repaint this one, and you know, so wherever it's already been, uh, you know, it's made a mistake, it's very easy to fix, but it generally works very, very well. And that will save me a lot of time than having to do it frame by frame. So as you can see, there's a lot of very, very powerful tools that will help me uh, work with, with, with this traditional animation. What I can also do, by the way, is um, change the colors once they've already been applied. So for example, uh, let me put the uh, background back and let me bring in the colored version of this otter. So now you can see it's done. Uh, she's animated beautifully and playing with the otter and colored beautifully. Now, if me, if uh, my um, art director or my teacher or my colleague decides I now need to change the color of the otter because the, the, the purple doesn't work so well, uh, I don't need to undo everything I've done or unpaint and repaint. All I need to do in Harmony is double click on the color that I've used for that, uh, for that specific region and change it. And on the fly, it's going to change on every single frame. And this is, you know, amongst many other things, this is one very different way of working than with Flash, for example, or Adobe Animal. Um, you can even use gradients if you want to, and again, change it on every single frame that uh, that color has been used. All right. So that, that's really going to make your life a lot easier and bring more flexibility to your animation uh, at the end of the day. All right. So let's now move to uh, a different style of animation. All right. Yeah, Barish. Uh, Barish. Barish. Sorry, can, hey. can you guys uh, mute yourselves if you don't mind? Thank you very much. Um, okay, so 
let's go to a, a different style of animation. We're going to go to what we call cutout animation. Okay, cutout animation is also known as puppet animation, and it is a, a style of animation that allows you to rig a character. Rigging a character means that you're creating different parts of your character, um, which will allow you then to move your character without having to redraw everything. So for example, I'll be able to separate the hand from the arm like this, but I'll also be able to move the, the hand on a pivot point like this to animate it. And I'll also be able to go up the hierarchy and create a rig so that the forearm also takes the hand with it and also so that the upper arm takes the whole forearm and hand with it as well. That's called a rig. It's called a hierarchy from parent to child. Um, and then it's very easy for me to go back down the hierarchy and animate these things separately. So instead of redrawing the entire character over and over again, like we did for the otter, this time we're cutting it in pieces and we're moving, moving it like puppets, okay? So this is not new to you guys. I'm sure you've seen it before and it's used a lot. But with Harmony, there's many, many tools that will allow you to go much, much faster. For example, we've got what we call a, a, some de a deformation. Like a deformation will allow you to deform a certain part of the body, even though they're not separated. So for example, here we've got, uh, we've got the jaw, which is separated from the rest. And if we want to animate the jaw, he's maybe he's chewing something, um, we can add what we call an envelope deformer on it. And that will deform the jaw with these Bezier handles, and maybe he's chewing something, he's chewing a chewing gum, or he's eating something, and his jaw gets deformed without the need of redrawing the whole thing, if you want to do that. Of course, that doesn't mean that you haven't separated um, the mouth. The mouth can also be separated, and because this is 2D animation, you would also create different mouth positions. And in Harmony, to access those mouth positions uh, or any anything that you have created the different uh, instances of, you can access it in the drawing substitution window. So if you want to show him with open mouth, you just change it to the mouth that you want. And this is the basis behind automated lip syncing, where you can automatically lip sync the animation. Okay, so let me show you this um, quickly. So I'm going to go into this. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to also take the animatic off here because we don't need it anymore. And I'm going to bring in uh, this one. I'm going to bring in the dialogue. Okay, so I'm bringing in sound. And I'm also going to bring in this scene here. So you'll see this scene. It's the same punk. And you'll see if I play, you'll hear the sound, but the um, the punk will not be synch synchronized with it. Okay, so let me play this for a bit. Wow, this is amazing. Okay, so that's what he says. Let me make it a bit longer, maybe. Uh, okay, great. Let's go all the way to here. Let's play a bit more. Wow, this is totally rad. Okay, wow. so he's not doing anything there with his mouth, okay? But you've seen he's got a whole bunch of different mouth positions if I select the drawing substitution window. All you need to do, to do is create a set of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight mouths. Uh, I think it's eight mouths. That's it. And what you do is when you have your sound, you select your sound, you go to your, uh, you can open up what we call a layer property window. And in here, you've got the sound. The software just needs to detect the sound. Okay. You click on detect. And what that's going to do 
is that it's actually going to take the phoneme, you know, the, the mouth sounds, um, and then it's going to uh, show how it works over here. Okay, so if I play it now, you see over there, it will go, wow, this is amazing. You see that? Wow. Okay, so now that the software has detected the different phonemes. This is language independent. It can work in Hindi, it can work in Chinese, it can work in Spanish, it can work in French, whatever language it is, okay? Now I need to map it, which means I need to make sure that it's using my drawings. So I'm going to use the uh, mouth, which is, where is it? That's the mouth. And I'm going to make sure that it's for this one, it's using my drawing. But I've named them the same one, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, X. So I'm not going to re rename anything here. And all I need to do now is say, okay. And that's it, guys. It's lip synced for me here. Wow. This is amazing. <laughs> wow. This is totally rad. You see? Well, it's 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 um eighty-five percent accurate. For most animations, it's enough. And if it's not enough exactly, you know, you could uh, let's scrub here. So, for example, when it says wow, it should go ooh, like this. Wow. Here, it should be a ooh. Well, that's fine. We just replace it for a ooh. And then a bit later, maybe this. And then a bit later, maybe he goes back to that. That's it. And now we play it again. Wow. That's it. This is... Um, it's that easy. So, now this is the basis of... Uh, uh, cut out animation to be able to separate the different parts and animate them like that. Now, another thing which we have as well, and I'm going to go back to my uh, other rig now for the punk. Another thing that we've got is the ability to use what we call constraints. Now, the constraints are really great because it will allow us to only move certain parts of the, the punk. So if I want to move his leg to the side, like a step, uh, step to the side, with other softwares, I would need to select that and that, and I would need to move him, you know, like move the whole thing, this first, and then this, and then that, and it would take me a very long time. Whereas with Harmony, I can put a constraint in place so that when I move, when I select a certain object and I know there's a constraint there, I can move it at a certain position and it's only going to move. Sorry, let me just make sure I have selected the right one. Uh, I think it's that one there. It only moves it and it's stuck by the hip over here. So I don't need to worry about where I'm going with this. I just drag it and it's opening and it's uh, 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 stretching it. And I just place it where I want. And now I just need to bend the knee. So I'm going to select the knee and I'm going to go up the hierarchy again. And because I know the constraint is there and I'm going to just bend the knee. You see that? And now it's a sidestep. I did that in two clicks, as opposed to having to move all of the other pieces individually. So as you can see, we've got really amazing, uh, amazing tools that will bring your efficiency uh, way, way high uh, and, and hopefully allow you, your quality to rise as well and to focus on, on quality. Uh, the other thing that I want to show you is something even way cooler. It's something called the master controller. Okay. Master controller is uh, the ability to associate multiple uh, positions of a character uh, with a grid or a slider. 
This is very common in 3D animation, for those of you who know 3D. But in 2D animation, it was unheard for, uh, unheard of until now. So for example, when you have a 2D character, you can't just take the camera and turn around the character. As you know, this is a, this is a flat character. Can you see there? It's flat. Okay. So, but when you want to create a turnaround, you have to create, uh, a three, a three quarter, a side view, uh, a three quarter back maybe and a back view. And then if you want to go any further, you can also create all these different views. You have to create that one by one. Okay. But it's made easy thanks to deformation, thanks to uh, cut and paste, thanks to moving around. So you don't have to redraw everything, but essentially you have to create these yourselves. So if you think that's a difficult thing to do, imagine what the animators would have to use if they want to turn around the character or they want to punch him forward. They have to select all these different pieces and move them one by one. Well, they don't have to do that with Harmony because uh, thanks to the master controller. So what we've got here in the, I'm going to select the master controller like that and show them all. Okay. And the master controller then, the rigger has put all of these different things onto, um, onto master controllers. So for example, here's a reference here of what to expect. If I want to do a turnaround, I'll use this slider. Instead of turning everything one by one, I use the slider and it will turn my character like this. Remember, this is a flat character. See, it's flat. Okay, but if I move it, it turns around because it's looking at the drawings that I showed you just now, but only with a slider. I don't need to do it part by part. If I want to tilt the uh, character forward, I can use this to tilt it forward because it's we've associated these drawings onto this grid. If I want to make him look surprised, I can use the eyes one. Like, whoa, what's going on here? Whoa, you know? And I can put keyframes in between those two and it will then open his eyes like he's surprised about something. So as you can see, it really is, uh, you know, very powerful and there's a lot of things that you can do uh, in here to enhance your animation. So the last thing I want to show you guys or talk about is... Um, is compositing, okay? Compositing means that you are adding some effects to your scene, that you're adding some, um, that you're adding some, uh, let's say, things like glow or uh, blurs or shadows or things like that. Now with, with um, 3D animation, you, you also have to create it by creating lights and things like that. Now, in 2D animation, um, it's a little bit more difficult, but it's not with Harmony. Like, this is a scene that was, the background was done in Photoshop, brought in here. The, uh, you know this shark, it's been animated in here, so I can play this for you. And it will now play the um, the animation. So he's watching TV and he's eating popcorn and, you know, he's getting excited about what's on the TV. Um, now, let me just make it play it till the end uh, over there and stop only at the end like that. Okay. So I'm now, so if I play it now, you can see what the shark is doing. He's eating his popcorn and watching the TV. Okay. So this was animated in, in uh, Harmony using the, the, the uh, master controllers that I showed you and all the different techniques that I showed you. Okay. Now, if I want, when I press the render button, it's going, this is OpenGI. If I press the render button, you can see that it's going to start rendering 
the scene like that. And it's quite nice. It looks very nice and very high quality. But I can also use, for example, a shadow. Now, the effects are in here. And because I'm using the node view, I can just attach the effect to my character. And when I activate it, it's going to look like I've got my, my shadow uh, projected on the back wall. And there's a whole bunch of things in here. This is the group. And I can add a whole bunch of things. I can add, you know, um, the whole thing at the back so that when the, when the shark is moving, it's actually moving the shadow as well. Let me move to this, like this, yeah. And it's, it's moving the shadow. Oops. Oops, I think I had a, a little crash there. Sorry. So, essentially what I want to show you is that you are able to create your different scenes and your different effects and keep adding your effects as you go, okay? Um, you don't need to wait for the whole scene to be finished to create your effects. But when your effects are done, you just bring your effects in and you attach them to the rest of your scene. And effects, we've got a hell of a lot of effects. Okay, I'll show you now as soon as it's done loading. In here in the node library, you'll see I've got filters like blur and bloom and uh, glows and chroma keying and color correction and gamma and we've got particle systems, uh, rain, snow, you know, sand, fire, all kinds of things that you can use, okay? One of the most uh, amazing new feature that we've added to Harmony 20 is what we call the uh, light, sh uh, light shading. You guys are probably have seen the movie Klaus on Netflix. And if you haven't, I invite you to watch it. Uh, it's a very, very nice movie. And you can see that the uh, Klaus uses the light shading that we've created for the movie with them. And that helps the character pop out of the background. So if I turn this on, you'll see that now it's going to have some lighting effects on the character like this to make it pop out. And that's really cool because you've got full control of the light position for this particular character, for the, for the shadow and the light inside of that character. So as you can see, if I move it, it's going to also move the shadows uh, for me like that. Oops. One, one, eight. Ah, come on. So I'm choosing the wrong position here. So it's very easy for me to change the light position whenever I want to and, and modify the light shading. Okay? So, sorry, I'm, I've uh, been doing some man manipulation here. Okay, essentially, all of these effects are things that you can create yourself inside of Harmony, things that your team members can create with you uh, or for you, and then you can bring them into the scene whenever you want to or whenever it's finished. Okay. Uh, we're almost done with the presentation. The only thing that I want to show you now is the 3D and 2D, um, 2D, 3D compatibility. So this scene is almost exactly the same scene, but this time it's got a 3D environment, okay? You'll see here that the shark is in a 3D environment, and when I play the timeline, you'll see that the camera is turning around. The shark looks like it's two, it's 3D, but in fact, it's still a flat image. But and the background is completely in 3D. How does that work? Well, we brought in a uh, 3D environment, and because we've got a full 3D 
um, environment inside. Uh, we brought in a 3D object, which you can see there. As you can see, there's a house. And inside, through the window, you can see the shark, which is a flat object. You see there? And now, if I zoom out a little bit, I can even see the camera. There's the camera there. If I select it, you can see it there. And if I move like that, you can see the camera is turning around the whole scene like this in full 3D. And because the character is always facing the camera, it works really, really well. Um, so as you can see, I can completely um, mix the two mediums together and I can even access these uh, objects in 3D. I can move them and place them and animate them if I want to. And, you know, it is really is in front of my character there in the sea. So that's it for the presentation of Tunboom Harmony. I know it's a lot of things. Uh, I've, like I said, I was uh, flying through it um, um, quite fast because there's a lot to show you. And so I hope that you, that you, um, that was useful for you guys. And if you've got any questions, uh, we've got a few minutes to answer your questions. Thanks, Ari. <coughs> it was really, what I can say, a detailed one, small one, but there are many things that Storyboard and Harmony can do, but it is difficult to showcase it in hardly 30 minutes. Indeed. So, <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, uh, Rushilji, you there? Yes, yes, very much. Okay. So, so students... Uh, fantastic session, uh, fantastic demonstration. And now, yeah, Thank we you. can open for the students. Yeah, thank you thank so you. much, Harry. Uh, you're welcome. Absolutely. So, guys, guys if you have, you have, any, have questions, any questions, yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no worries. No. So, you have any questions regarding Toon Boom as a company, uh, what careers you can choose, uh, how Toon Boom can help you to grow in India, what are the possible wages or what are the possible uh, uh, level you can go for whatever it is or anything regarding the softwares like for storyboard what you can do what more you can do how you can use it uh, regarding our initiatives like community and so on how harmony can work how it will be beneficial for you to come on harmony anything whatever questions you have please feel free to ask we are there to help you You can just mute and you can just ask or you can even chat on the chat box what we have right now. Um, no questions? Uh, Harry, could you please, uh, like, if you don't use the uh, screen anymore, can you just switch it off so that we can see you instead of the Sorry, screen? Sorry, yes. My bad. Uh, here it is. And here's my video. Ah, great. Good to see you. Yes, so students, if you have any questions, we also have some faculties here. Uh, Prakar sir is there, Nitin sir is there. Guys, any Nitin questions? Sir, Nitin sir you knows Harmony well. Ah. He used to, you, uh, used to work on Harmony a few years ago. Okay, okay, okay. yeah. So Rahul sir is also there, then we have a lot of students, Varun, Tukeshwar, Sridhar, any questions, Shabazz, or all right. So we have the first question. Can this software also be used in advertisement industry? Uh, yes, yeah, so absolutely. Totally. Wherever the animation is there, so wherever the uh, advertisement industry is there or uh, particular firms are there who do, do digital marketing, especially with animation videos or to showcase your product, our softwares are used in that particular industry. If I want to showcase some examples, even in uh, education industry, Baiju's uses of software. So whatever the videos you see of Baiju's are done on Storyboard Pro. The same software can be used, uh, are used by advertisement industry. Okay, 
Yeah, great. All right, any more questions? Mazhar, Sakshi, Ashutosh, Akash, Sushil, that's you. Yeah. Shashank. All right, let me also check the YouTube channel if we have any questions there. Please, please. So, one uh, question is uh, uh, how do you compare Animate and Toon Boom? And how do you see 2D animation to market over 3D in the coming time? So, both these questions are from our Dean, Professor Dr. Rishi Acharya. Oh, okay. Um, so the first question, Harry, can answer. The, there's many differences. Um, you know, the demonstration, uh, I hope, was uh, a way to, to show you, you know, what, what the software can do. Um, Essentially, the biggest differentiator is that uh, Animate or Flash, as it's formerly known, is not a, it's not a production tool. It was never meant for animation production. It was, it was meant for, um, you know, shorts. It was meant for small animations. Even if they focus towards towards the later part of its existence, uh, a little bit more towards animation, it's not meant specifically for uh, animation. So, and that is why it's not the standard anymore in the in the world. So, one of the biggest focuses for us is to make sure that the universities, colleges, faculties use the industry standard, so that they're um, their students can get the jobs uh, that that they need to get using the tools that they are needing to use and that what the industry is using. Uh, technically, there are many, many things that Harmony can do which uh, Animate can't even, uh, can't even try and do. <laughs> um, but, but in terms, I think the essential part is that um, Harmony is a professional tool, and it's what the professional studios are using out there to produce uh, to produce the videos and the animated series and movies, uh, not animate. Even though there are exceptions to confirm the rule, like like for everything, you know, there are still some things that are produced in animate for sure, um, but uh, you know that's that's the way it goes. But essentially, uh, you know, if, if, if they want to work with a majority of studios around the world and, and be able to deliver quality, high quality animation, they will use the standard. And that is uh, Toon Boom Harmony. Yeah. And the second question was, how do you see 2D animation market over 3D in the coming time? Look, 2D animation is is not going to go away anywhere to, anywhere soon. <laughs> it's uh, there was a time maybe if I remember when uh, at some point two twelve maybe ten twelve years ago there was a whole debate around ah oh, 2D animation is dead, 3D animation is taking over. Look where it is now. Uh, 2D animation is still as strong, even if not even stronger, than it was ten years ago, during the height of this debate. Um, it's just a different medium. They are not competing in the same realm. Uh, it's not 2D versus 3D. It's just some stories are better told in one way and others are better told in another way. Uh, more specifically, film, uh, feature films, they've got more time, they've got more budget, they've got more people. So maybe it's easier or they can spend more money and more time in 3D. Uh, television series, they don't have time. They have to produce one episode a week or one every two weeks, or, um, you know, and they, have, they don't have the budget, so they'll do it in 2D. Sometimes they'll do it in 3D as well, or sometimes they're doing both. And more and more, they're actually doing both. They're doing like 2D characters and 3D environments, for example. And they'll mix- the when you showed us. Exactly. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's not really a debate as such uh, anymore. It's more about the story and how best uh, to convey the story. 
All right. So another question is from one of the uh, one of our students who asks that uh, he is good at character designing. So what kind of careers can he look for um, in Toolboom or in general? And uh, he also asks uh, what is the average salary for a character designer storyboard artist? I think uh, you can take that, uh, Sushi. Yeah, 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 sure, absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. yeah, 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 yeah. So it absolutely depends on what type of uh, path you choose for particularly storyboarding. If you uh, just want to know about storyboarding through Toon Boom, then yes, there are multiple opportunities in India also because whatever the series you see, for example, if you see Chota Beam, whatever the Chota Beam is uh, telecasted in 190 plus countries through Netflix. So Chota, such uh, various stories are going to come and are getting evolved in India. So if you see uh, Toon Boom and compare it with the storyboarding, then yes, the career is very good and you can expect a lot of good studios to be using storyboard artists. Like for example, to, uh, uh, tools I said, but there are like Aeon in Hyderabad, there are Digi Tools in Delhi and so on. So these people are usually have, wherever their own IP is there, storyboard has to be there. So like just what I said about Chota Beam, it's they, they have their own IP and they are going to have a storyboard. Considering salary, if you see a fresher usually gets anywhere between 15 to 20,000 at a stage after one year, after six months or after one year, if you continue in the same profession, then you can even expect about 25, 30 and even 35,000. That, that kind of depends on the artwork. Yeah. Depends on the artwork also. Yeah. You want to add something to this, Harry? Uh, not really. I mean, look, it's it's it really depends also where they are in the world. Um, you know, in terms of of salaries, uh, different parts of the world uh, pay different rates. Um, and in terms of what they can do with it, well, you know, character design. Um, they can do anything really if they are good at uh, designing characters. They can do television series. They can do uh, books. Uh, interactive books, uh, they can do gaming, they can do, there's a lot that they can do. It's actually a very flexible uh, skill to have. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, uh, Harry, uh, Rushil, Harry has to leave, I believe, because he had some other commitments. Uh, yeah, so I have another question. demo in five minutes, guys, so I, oh. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, I'm there, so I will answer the questions, don't worry. Yeah, great. Yeah, Thank so you so much, Harry, for joining us. A pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, and I'm leaving you in the capable hands of Sushil. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for following my presentation. And uh, all the best to you guys over there. Thank you. Thanks, Ari. Okay. Bye bye, yeah. everybody. Right. Bye. bye. Take care. Yeah. So we have so, uh, the next question. Guru. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Rushilji. Go on, go on. Yeah. If someone has some personal animation project, is it comfortable to work alone in Toon Boom software without any team? Of course, you can work alone for your own project. If you have a project where you want to develop an animation film, if you have a project where you want to develop some animation characters through comics, or even you want to develop a series, everything can be done on our software. So storyboard and Harmony both. Storyboarding can be used for developing those characters. Harmony will be used for developing that particular animation. So yes, you can use it without any team. In fact, many of the freelancers, what they do, they develop a story on our tools like Storyboard and Harmony, and they try to pitch into various studios or various broadcasters like Netflix, Amazon, and so on. What resources Toon Boom provide to students for learning it free? Okay, so what I will do, I will, I'm just sharing one link, which is known as Learn Platform, Learn Portal, what we say. You just go there, you just check it. There are different options where you can see exactly what are free and you can learn from them. There are different things like from layout, how to design a layout, uh, how to uh, uh, go through to, from 2D animation to 3D animation, what is rigging, and what is development and so on. So you can just, I will just put a link over there. It's learn.toolboom.com, right? Exactly, learn.toolboom.com. I'm just sharing it with you. I 
the profits in the chat box. Yeah, yeah, I'm just pasting it. There are almost, yeah, it's the same here. Almost 1000 courses over here, which are very small, like five minutes, 10 minutes, which are huge also, like two days, four days, five days. You can just check it. It is very beautiful. It is developed for students only. Are there any certificate exams that Boom offers, just like at yes. OBS? Yes, so we offer certification for storyboard, we offer certification for Harmony. On the, on the same platform, if you go and see on learn.toonboom.com, you will also see a section of certification. And you can just check what all certificates you are comfortable with. We will be uh, checking all the details and if we feel that this person is, is really good, we certify it with Toonboom. Not only over there, but we also have authorized training center in Mumbai, in Hyderabad, in uh, Bangalore. So you can also check with them and we can get associated and they also provide the certification courses. Same as what you can see on Learn on Tunbo. But they also teach it. Great. Great. So yeah. I think we have had a wonderful session this afternoon. Uh, some Thank lovely you. things. And uh, I think our students and faculties really enjoyed it. And we, we really got to learn some new things about how the softwares work. So thank Absolutely. you so very much, Sushil, for this uh, good session. And thank you, uh, thank you, Rishal. I am really thankful to Acharya sir for giving this opportunity. Uh, let's see how best we can get associated with you. We are also trying to get associated with Veda through our authorized training center or center of excellence and the more students can get to know about Pundum in future from Veda. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. So, I would like to thank all our students, faculty members and all the viewers on YouTube who have been watching this session and in some insights and we'll see you in another session some other time bye bye sure okay thank you thanks a lot